Oh, that's a, that's a fish. That's a fish. Double hook up. Holy dooly. Holy dooly. Have a go there. G'day guys and welcome to a balmy summer morning. As you can probably tell by what's going on behind me, I've got the lures out and I'm having a troll. Summer in southeast Queensland means warm current, means lots of bait, and well fingers crossed it means there's some big pelagic fish chasing. Plan of attack today is try and catch some. And the two big ticket items are wahoo and Spanish mackerel. Little bonus fish would be a dolphin fish or mahi mahi. But um, yeah, you don't know what you're gonna turn up summer on the troll. Absolutely anything. We might even see a marlin. Who knows, who knows? The sun's just about to pop. Lures are in, doesn't get too much better than this. Thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, let's hope one of these reels screams off pretty damn soon. Now guys, I'd love to say this was my first crack at the Pelagics this season, but it's not. I came out a couple of weeks ago, chucked the lures in, and uh, a bit of madness went down. I had the cameras on, so check this out. Oh, that's a, that's a fish. That's a fish. Double hook up. Well, we got a double hook up here, guys. These are real ones. I'm gonna fly this one. Holy dooly. Holy dooly. Holy dooly, what was that? Well, we lost him. We still got one. Oh, that was a massive one, whatever was on that. This doesn't feel like a tuna. Doesn't feel like a tuna at all. And I don't know what that other thing was, but holy dooly, did it take some line. Uh oh. This line is everywhere. Just gonna have to deal with it. Come on. Oh, still got plenty of toe. <laughs> Gone. No. Oh. <sighs> Some big teeth marks in that. I reckon that might have been Mr. Wahoo. That second one that hooked up. Oh my goodness. That was a big fish. 
I've got line going everywhere. There's line that I haven't seen here in a long time. Wowee. Wow, 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 we. What a shame. Leader let go. Bugger! I did say it was madness. How was the run on that thing? I, uh, I really wish I could have landed at least one to find out what they were, but I'm about 900% sure they were wahoo. That one I lost, or the first one I lost, I reckon that was a massive wahoo. That, um, that took some serious, serious line. I don't think I've had a run that big in a while. But um, that goes to show they're here, so I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. Uh, I just need to recreate it and keep the hooks in. And hopefully we're gonna do that today. Now, quick run through of the gear. I've got an eight meter Halco Laser Pro on that one. I've got a two meter Halco Laser Pro on that one. And I've got a big skirt way out the back uh, for a bit of a surface presentation. Now I'm going a bit slow at the moment, so I'm going to get up to cruising altitude. Hopefully we can get eaten pretty soon. Fingers crossed! Ah! I love summer! get that on the big jobs. That is a strike tuner. You can tell by the strike. Well guys, not much happened for the rest of that day. So I headed home and started making plans for session number three to see if I couldn't put the Wahoo losing streak behind me. Curse of the tuna. Started early. Oh, what have we here? Oh, another you, another yellow fin. Oh, I take that all back. Here I am thinking it was going to be a uh, Mac tuna or something less desirable well guys i was cursing when this guy came on i saw it as a tune i was like ah not another one but little yellow fin there's been a few of these guys around lately i got some on the troll chase and marlin so uh another little sashimi rocket for me you beauty it's a good start to the day hopefully the wahoo are here too oh no the boat
we got one on we got something on it's big and fast boat's a bit of a mess this guy dumped a heap of line absolute heap of line really want to see this one having a terrible morning had a tangle all sorts of stuff the weather's pretty rough hopefully oh, our luck is about to change I had my jacket on from this morning Jeez, it's hot now oh that was mayhem this guy just didn't stop At some stage I'm gonna have to move this rod but I don't wanna I don't wanna lose tension on him. I have to be cautious because I've still got one of those lines is a full way out. The short one. So the last thing I wanna do is get that around the prop. Oh he's going again. Good fish. It's a wahoo, I think it's gonna be a goodie. Be a lot happier once I get that um mono back on the on the reel. At least I then know how far away he is. Maybe win a bit of line on him now. He's taking a bit. Gone in the way of the other skirt, which is awesome. What is this thing? Talk about dogged fight.
more kerfuffle. Still going this thing. Far out. He's gone. No. Braid pop. Ah! Oh, that was really big. That was really, really big. I don't know how more many more chances I can blow. It's ridiculous. Mm. Had that mono on the reel. And I messed around getting him around the boat. Oh, that one stings, guys. That one really stings. That was a really big fish. Never got an idea on it. I'm going to assume a wahoo ate a skirt going really quick. Um, dumped a heap of line out in the first run. And just kept on slugging it away. Never jumped, so I don't think it was a marlin. Oh, yeah. That one hurts a little bit. That one hurts a lot of bit. I really wanted to see that. That was a wahoo. Massive. Absolutely massive. I think that's like... Either four or five nil to the wahoo. coming towards us took a good run at the start I thought he was the right species but might be a tuna or something again feels a bit tunery now after all surely not Ah, oh, there's a few head shakes. I think it's the right species. It is. It's a small one of the right species. That's a wahoo. Keep your head down, please. Be it a not very big one. You can keep your head down, please, sir. 
That'd be greatly appreciated. We got one, ladies and gentlemen. We got one. Yep. He's not that small. I was expecting him to be heaps smaller. Oh, it's truth. That took some getting. Please let the Wahoo curse be over. Oh. The old faithful salt shaker has provided there. Well guys, we got one. It took us, I don't know how many hookups, misses and all sorts, but we finally got ourselves a Wahoo. Now you saw how easy that guy came in. Imagine how big the one we hooked earlier this morning was. This guy put up a bit of a show, had a great first run on him, but there wasn't much going on after that. The big ones though, different kettle of fish this guy here probably be about eight nine kilos still a nice fish lovely first one at least we're on the board now we've got a yellow fin and wahoo some lovely sashimi and uh look hopefully we can get a few more to chew but it's good to finally have one on the board oh Same lure as last time too. He's coming at the boat. Yes, another wahoo. Oh, it's a nice one too. Come back over this side, please, mate. Ah, oh, bugger it, I'll come to you. How's that? Oh my goodness. Well, that just got eaten by a shark. Oh, the curse continues. Oh. 
That's not fair. That was a nice one as well. And he just did this big run past the boat, took off. I was like, what's going on? And uh, a shark ate him. Well, sometimes you do find it hard to have a win. And when the sharks are doing that, that makes it hard. That was a nice, that was bigger than the other one too. You would have seen him come past. He probably was another three or four kilos on that, that last one. He's a nice fish. What a bugger. What a shame, man. You know, shark eats him, so. Wasted. The fish doesn't even get to live, so. That's, um, that sucks. That was a nice hit too. Short, short corner salt shaker bite. That was, uh, that was pretty cool. Smashed it, came in, then he got munched. Poor thing. At least I got to keep me lure. There's a plus. Well guys, that is a wrap. Unfortunately, only the one Wahoo landed. Plenty of other opportunities. And uh, little findings from when I pulled the lures in. Uh, one of the hits, the one on this rod, which was the natural soury uh, flying fish looking colored lure. Uh, it's a Meridian Ahi. That was a marlin that ate that, a little black marlin or something, because it had a big bill swipe across the, uh, the lure head and there was a big scuff up the leader. So I don't think that one was a wahoo at all. More than likely a marlin or a sailfish or something. I don't know, we didn't stay connected for long enough. But uh, yeah, look, we definitely had our chances today. Hooked and had plenty of fish hit, but only managed to put the tuna and one wahoo in the boat, but that's all right. We got one. Well, at least we got one wahoo. We set out to catch a wahoo and look, we've sort of half cracked the wahoo curse. But yeah, it's just coming up to lunchtime now. I've got to start heading back. The weather's meant to turn a bit more nasty this afternoon, but it certainly doesn't look like it at this stage. It looks lovely, so I'm going to quit while I'm ahead and power back in. But uh, yeah, see you at the filleting table. Not a bad day in the end. Plenty of missed opportunities, but we've got a torpedo and a tuna for the table. Now, um, that wahoo is just a, probably a school size one, but I'm pretty keen to see how much it weighs. Now, I think I called it for eight or nine kilos on the boat. So let's see how the old iometer's going. <clears throat> oh, it's out. 7.9 or 7.6 so only a pop but at least we landed one and didn't have to feed it to the sharks anyways guys it's stinking hot out here today so i'm going to act pretty quick uh we'll put a time lapse on but i'll fill it up the wahoo first and the yellowfin but most important thing at the moment is to get them out of this heat it's uh yeah back in the fridge get them cold as quick as possible There you go, wahoo, no longer. Now it's fillets. And I'm gonna go get that in the fridge right now. Well guys, I'm happy to report that sashimi went down an absolute treat. I shared it amongst heaps of family and friends and uh, plenty of positive reports flowing in, so that's always a good sign. Now guys, no tackle talk this week, unfortunately. I'm trying to keep the episode nice and short so you can all get back to spending some quality time with your family and friends over this festive period. Now guys, it's also just occurred to me that this is the last episode for 2021. So I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to each and every single one of you that tuned into one of my episodes over the course of the year. You guys are what make all this possible, all your support, all your views, all your likes, all your comments, it all adds up and makes a huge difference and guys, I am eternally grateful to every single one of you. I really, really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. 
As for 2022, plenty of big things planned, guys. We're not slowing down whatsoever. In fact, we're gonna get even bigger, and I look forward to taking you guys along for the ride on all my crazy fishing adventures. Well, guys, this is it, the final sign-off for 2021. Massive shout-out to all the companies that got involved and supported me over the year. Massive shout-out to all the legends that I fished with in my episodes, and of course, the final shout-out goes, of course, to you guys. If you're watching with a beer, or even if you're not, oh, it's a boy. Cheers to you guys. Catch you next year. Hope you're all safe and well. Enjoy your Christmas break. Hope you get out for a fish. And I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Cheers. Woo!